Give me two minutes and let me run through some great myths about hypnosis so that I can put your mind at rest. It's not strange. It's not weird at all. It's perfectly natural. I'll lose control. That's what people think. You're always in control. If you have your eyes closed, you could open them if you wanted to, but actually it's probably not quite so relaxing if you have your eyes open. You hear everything. You can move around if you want to. Sometimes when people come and see me, they think, well, what if I move? If my nose itches and I itch it, you'll think I'm not hypnotized. No, I'll think you're not relaxed because you'll be sitting there strangely. When you go like this, the next thing you do is go, I may never wake up. You will wake up because for a start, you're not asleep. And if you were asleep, you'd wake up anyway. You're always in control. Your mind will be wandering and you might just open your eyes at any time that you want to. So you're always in control. You don't lose that control and you're not asleep. So you don't need to worry about never waking up again because you probably didn't go to sleep in the first place. I won't remember what happened. Now, when you see stage hypnotists, they say, when you wake up, you won't remember anything that happened at all. And then the people say, oh, I don't remember anything. That's because he's just told them to say that. You will remember everything because you're always aware of it. You'll hear everything, you'll remember everything. Your mind might be wandering in and out, you might be thinking of other things, but you are aware of everything that's happening. Only weak people can be hypnotised. Weak-willed people, that's not true. Actually, you tend to find that people with a greater imagination and people who are more intelligent are more easily hypnotisable because they can use their imagination and you can use it to start to think about the things you really want rather than perhaps worrying about the things that haven't even happened yet. I've never been hypnotised and I couldn't be hypnotised. That's what lots of people say. Well, actually, you're hypnotised all the time by all sorts of things. Remember you saw an advert and it popped into your head and you thought, oh yeah, I need to buy that product. That's kind of like hypnosis. It's a bit like when you're in the car, when you're driving down perhaps the road and you think, hang on a minute, I, I drifted off there and I forget where I was. How did I get here? It's a perfectly natural, perfectly normal state. It's just that when we work in hypnosis, for people like myself, clinical hypnotherapists, what we're doing is we're helping to relax you, helping you to get into that better state so that you can absorb all of the really good things. So your subconscious, that's the part that holds on to all the negative stuff, can work a little bit I hope more that I've busted a few myths for you in a very short period of time. There's lots more videos on this channel, so please feel free to subscribe and watch lots more as well. And there's a free MP3 on my website too.